What's going on guys, VicVP back with another Game Case Arcades video and today we're going on the road, we are doing an in-home install. Just to give you a heads up on how this is right now, I left the install but I didn't really videotape much in the house because we ran into a little bit of a hiccup um, while installing an upright 32 inch arcade today. Fire engine. So let me give you a quick background story as far as what we did today. I had a female message me on, I believe, uh, Facebook or, or Instagram, I forgot. And she basically told me that she bought a 32 inch upright from Game Room Solutions for her husband for Christmas. And apparently the husband's kind of busy and he doesn't have time to set it up. So she asked me, can I come in and set it up? And I said, yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. And honestly, I was kind of excited because I've never done or seen the 32 inch Game Room Solutions upright. I gotta say, it was a pretty nice, beautiful, um, upright arcade. Um, again, you can see my rant on micro centers. It was almost similar to that, maybe the same height. I don't really know the dimensions of it, but the artwork from Ryan, phenomenal. The artwork was beautiful. The husband got to pick the artwork. Uh, it was a Marvel DC kind of um, blend. Really good. He was really happy how the graphics came out. Um, he was just excited. So going back to what I was saying, the female messaged me and was like, oh, I need you to put it up. And I said to her, I said, first let your husband know that you're contacting me because some people buy the arcades as a hobby. They want to do it. You know, it's an actual experience and it's actually pretty cool to know how your arcade is if you actually build it. Um, all of a sudden it was going back and forth and I actually just asked for the husband, his name is John. I asked for John's phone number and then I was able to contact John personally. Spoke to John, really cool guy, really awesome guy. Um, you know, he basically said, hey Vic, I could do it, but you know, if you could lend me a hand, great. He didn't really want the help, but I actually asked him if I could come and help. I asked him if I could help because I wanted to see what a Game Room Solutions 32 inch upright looked like. I've never seen it. And I was like, it was more of a, let me come in, let me help just to kind of see, get my experience, see how it is. And if I could suggest it to other customers. I do get customers that do want uprights. Most of the times they do the bar tops and the control panels. Um, I rarely get the upright request, but when you have people in Long Island and you know in PA that have the house space, they do want an upright. So anyway, John said, hey Vic, you know what? I'm off tomorrow. Can you, you wanna come by? I'm gonna start building it. Uh, his arcade came in two boxes. Today's Thursday, the 20th, December 20th. He got one box like two days ago and uh, the other box came yesterday and he was already excited. He started opening it. He sent me a picture of what it looked like. Um, and I said, yeah, fine, I'll come, I'll come down today, the 20th, the next day. I'll come down, let's build it, you know, I'll start. He's like, I'll start a little bit, you know, I'll do what I can and then, you know, I'll help you out. So I joined him, met him in the basement. He has a really nice basement, really cool basement, very game room-like, very theater-like. Um, so he was excited. We started putting it together. It was definitely a two-man job. You definitely needed two two people especially when you had to you know raise the upright off the floor we started it on the side you know we work away from from the side and up really cool really great um, he bought the two-player control panel with the trackball I've never seen a trackball I was blown away amazing you know stuff especially how the control panels cut I was shocked I've never seen a trackball um, really cool we set it up um he had to go in and out this is the first time i've really ever seen this happen but apparently ryan game room solutions he's missing a couple of pieces what's going on guys Vic vp back with another game case arcades video and well today we are at an in-house visit we're building a 32 inch cabinet this is pretty cool i'm at a customer named john's house he bought the cabinet um his wife messaged me he said hey vic i need some help so i came down and i helped him out we're building a 32 inch cabinet marveled out um he picked the artwork it's amazing it looks very good uh right now john had to step out because he had to find cam locks uh first time ever ryan i guess we're missing like five cam locks we're missing a couple cam locks but for right now while he's gone we're going to be doing the controls pretty unique he's got the trackball on this one there's a lot of stuff going on into this cabinet okay guys so um pretty shocked uh first time ever again i'm not gonna bad mouth ryan game room solutions but we're missing a couple of things, buddy. Uh, we're definitely missing eight. It's eight cam locks we're missing. I'm missing a button, an actual button for the control panel. Um, I mean, right now, again, the, 
the customer stepped out, went to get cam locks from Home Depot. But I mean, I, I'm hoping that it's underneath kind of like this. I didn't open the box with the customer. So I'm hoping that he misplaced it, but I opened up the control panel box and I'm missing a button. Uh, luckily, you know, me, I have a bunch of these. Ryan usually gives me a lot of extras. There's usually at least one or two extra buttons, but for some reason, I'm missing a button. On a big side note, and on a plus side though, very surprised, we got the control panel. And first time I'm seeing a trackball. I like the trackball. Very nice, very like CNC cut, amazing. I'm blown away with the trackball. I think on my next personal arcade, I'm putting a trackball in. Um, again, just a quick update. I mean, he's missing a couple pieces. People are human, it's okay, but we were missing a couple. When I mean a couple, I mean we were missing eight cam lock screws, the actual like nut, not the screw that you put in, the nut that you turn to, to lock it in place. We were missing eight of those. To our disappointment, we were missing the uh, LED power wire, the yellow and black that didn't come with it. Um, I think something might have been mixed up because we did have two sets, really four sets of arcade grounds, which that never happens. You only get really, you know, one set, one pair, but we had two pairs. So maybe Ryan might have messed it up. Again, people make mistakes. We were also missing one white button. Uh, luckily, I have a bunch of buttons in my car, so I went to the car and I grabbed the white button. Um, again, sometimes you, people make mistakes, it's fine. Um, plexiglass was amazing, he had the bezel on it, it fit a 32 inch Insignia TV. Um, again, on the type when we when I usually start building, I like to get it done, but I do have a little bit of an appointment to get to. I woke up today at 8 a.m., I arrived at John's house at 9.30, I left John's house at 5.00. Um, we got everything up. I mean buttons wired everything is set. He's playing it right now with his wife um, He is downloading a Raspberry Pi 3 image I had in my pocket in my car a Raspberry Pi 2 with an image So I just gave him my Pi 2 and I'll be back next Sunday uh, To finish up the LEDs. I really don't like leaving jobs done undone But we were missing the LED part of this build and honestly, it was a big killer. We couldn't get the trackball lit up. We couldn't get the LED joysticks lit up, the buttons lit up. And the way we were gonna do it is that he did buy an RGB strip. We were gonna wire it to the marquee. And you know, John luckily is a guy that does no soldering. He does no electronics. He does have like a 3D printer. So it's really cool to meet a customer that actually has that kind of stuff and has that mindset. Um, as I was building, he'd like to learn. I was talking, we were, I was basically teaching him. Really cool guy, really awesome. I really get that. But you know, again, you, you feed off of people's energies. John had a great energy. He kept making sure I was fed. He kept giving me drinks. It was, it was cool. Drinks meaning Snapples. I don't drink on the job. But still, it's those type of people that I get happy and I don't have to, you know, worry too much because people understand how it is. All in all though, he was pretty excited. That's the best part. The biggest part also is watching him build it. He was very hands-on. You know, I get it, I'm there to help. Uh, I did kind of take over the control panel, meaning I wired it because I was pretty quick, but he did have to step out to buy the cam locks that we were missing. So I said, listen, for that 20 minutes, 15 minutes that you go away, I could knock out the control panel. So luckily I did the control panel while he was gone. He came back, it was already wired. When he came back, I was doing the T-molding. We were, we were hammering in the T-molding. He did the chrome T-molding. So I remember from my two-player control panel, uh, the, the chrome is a little bit thicker somehow, so it's a little bit more cutting when you do around the corners. All in all, the arcade's up. He's got it up, he's like, Vic, you know, it's really for me. He's like, he's like, I kept saying it's for the kids. Let, let me know how the kids like it. He's like, Vic, I have no kids. This is for me. It's all for me. I was like, all right, you're a big kid. So he's already playing it. He's got a couple of nieces and nephews coming for Christmas, which is great. Because I said to him, I said, listen, LEDs are aesthetic. Uh, aesthetic. Um, LEDs are just for the looks of it. At least you could actually play, get some Street Fighter, get some Mario Kart involved, get some two player action involved. You're fine, at least for the holidays. I'm going on vacation, so I'm gonna be back uh, Saturday. I'm gonna go to his house Sunday. I told him to email Ryan. Ryan is a very good guy when it comes to business. I'm very sure that he will send the power that is needed and the button that was missing, because I need that button, but it's okay, I don't need it. But he has one of my buttons. Um, 
Again, all in all, pretty shocked. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna. Sh I shot a real quick video, um, but definitely we want to kind of get it so that we do have the LEDs up and running. Right now, you, in the video you're gonna see right now, there is no LEDs. There's no power. There's no lighting. Um, there's no marquee light, but the arcade is functioning. It works and all that. But real quick, I just want to touch up on how important the graphics are, the side art. Um, so uh, John sent me a picture yesterday and he goes, oh man, Vic, there's a huge nick on one of the panels. And I said, oh, you know, send me a picture. And sure enough, it was the inside white laminate panel inside the arcade. So luckily you don't see that. I said, oh, show me a picture of the artwork. There's nothing wrong with the artwork. The artwork was perfect. There's no nicks. You can't see nicks on an artwork. So that's the one big thing. Again, this is the mel melaline MDF laminated, this white laminated thing. You have to expect the nicks. So the only one thing, he's going to go buy white paint. Our only little thing, and again, I'll, I'll film it when we do an official video with him and we'll do a whole, you know, we'll talk together. But on the official video, you're going to see that on player one, uh, I'm gonna call it player one side, left side, right where the the, the bezel is. The you're gonna right where the bezel is. There's a little piece of like white um, MDF that's like visible. You do see it's like three or four nicks. Um, it is kind of an eyesore, but hopefully paint will fix it. I don't even know what it's gonna look like painted. But I said to him, I said, good thing you spent the extra money on artwork. The big thing I said to him, I said, look, it's very good. He's actually pretty happy that he spent the extra money on the artwork. Number one, it looked great. It was like he loved the Marvel and the DC Comics. So it went with his theme. The basement was white and gray. It, it matched the basement. It was very cool. Um, he was going to do a regular white uh, cabinet, but he's been watching my videos. And in my videos, I do say no matter what. It's not Ryan's fault. It's just that's how wood is. But this laminate MDF always gets nicked. Always. I've never seen a perfect clean laminate i've never unboxed a perfect bar top or now the upright it's never perfect there's no such thing so i always tell people yes i know you know the artwork is another 130 150 whatever it is in all honesty you might as well spend the money on it unless you want to go and put white out on whites and sharpies on blacks but in all honesty it always makes this the consoles and the systems look amazing now the only one last thing again um he did buy a raspberry pi 3 he did buy a lot of stuff second hand meaning like he didn't go with game room solutions surprisingly he had an amazing sound system he bought like these car speakers from amazon he told me he spent like 20 bucks and it was 300 watts of sound and i was shocked he had a speaker amp he bought the usb um extender a lot of stuff for someone that really did like i guess he did his research and bought it he didn't buy it from game room solutions so very cool to see that uh, LED RGB um, strip he bought separately. Uh, luckily, we do have a micro center, so he could have bought that too. But he had it. Most of the stuff he had it knocked out. The only big thing I told him, and it's always tough, is that you know the pie images. You can find some pie images online. He did go the route of finding it online, um, but he forgot to download it overnight. I mean, we were trying to download 128 gigs. I mean, that's going to take at least three hours to download. So he thought it was kind of quick. So unfortunately, when I, was, I, I was, you know, we had about two hours left. I had to leave at five. So at three o'clock, I said, look, take my Pi 2, take my Pi 2 SD card. I already had it in the car. I said, my main thing is at least you as a customer can play with it and enjoy it at least. I don't need my, my Pi 2 right now. It's for a build that I have in the future. I don't really need it right now. So he's playing with it. Great, we're up. Now the only really downside, and I got kind of upset personally, but it's something where like I was kind of rushed for time, so I wasn't really focused. So the only real thing I got kind of personally upset was that he had the trackball. Trackball was really cool. I've never done a trackball. I've never seen it. Holding it in my hand, it was pretty heavy, but it was like, you saw the quality on it. It was a very good piece of equipment. Uh, USB, it had so many power things coming out of it. But my only little gripe was that I wasn't able to get it to work with my Pi image. But then again, like I said, I was stressed for time. And whenever I'm stressed for time and I'm not really focused, so. I was trying to look up how to make it work and uh, Ryan says that you have to get into the computer and oh, you know, open up the, 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 file, the folders. I didn't really have the time for it nor did I have the material to get into the computer but 
Um, that was my only little downside. So his tripod right now is not working. His trackball right now is not working, not functioning. So at least though the two players work, I said, listen, the only real thing I could see that a trackball would work for is Centipede. Um, he mentioned another game I forgot, but I don't really know that many trackball games except for Centipede um, and Golden Tee. He said Golden Tee. But for right now, I said, listen, the trackball will come back next week. Maybe the image that he does for the Pi 3. Like I ran Golden Tee on mine on the Pi 2 and it ran slow. It stuttered, it wasn't that good. I don't think the Pi 2 is really meant for those high intensity games. Um, but at least for the Pi 3, I'm hoping for the best. That was the only real big downside right now. Again, I, I say that the job right now is about 90% done. It's functioning, it's just it's missing the LEDs. The LEDs is the only thing that's left and the trackball is something that we have to kind of sit down and program. I never did a trackball, so I don't really know how it is. But all in all, John's arcade, John's 32 inch upright. I'm gonna go next week, we're gonna, we're gonna revisit it. This isn't over yet, this isn't the really full video or official video for John's arcade, but it's kind of a, hey, what we did today kind of thing. Again, Vic VP, game room, ah. Again, Vic VP, game case arcades. I build arcades, I'll help you build your own arcade. Anything arcade, we do.